Hey everyone, Julia here from The Curly Girl Creates, back with another video. Today, we are going to make this adorable bee. Most of the stuff is from Dollar Tree, so it's really not expensive to make. Um, we started out, I got these at Dollar Tree, three pots for a dollar. Um, they are, the size is two and a half inches in diameter. You're gonna start with that. What I did was I painted it. Uh, the yellow that I used is lemon custard from Folk Art. You can use any color uh, yellow that you like, but that's what I used. And to get the stripes, what I did was I cut out a template, um, one uh, two and a quarter inches. That one goes on the bottom. And then I traced it all around. And then I cut out another one at two inches and I traced it around and that's how I got my line for the black paint. So after the yellow dries, you are going to then paint the stripes with the black paint. Now, before you do anything, to get these little knobs on the top of the head, this is made with Sculpey clay. Uh, I used brown, you could also use black, but what you do is you take a little piece of the clay, you roll it up into a ball, and then you put it in the oven at 250 degrees for about an hour. Uh, after that, take it out, let it cool so that it hardens, and that's how you get your ball. So I would start with that. Um, meantime, you can do everything else while this is being made. Okay, then after you've painted your, um, your pot, waiting for that to dry, you want to paint the head. Now I used, uh, this ball here is, um, it's a wood knob and the dimensions is 1.9 inches by 1.8 inches. And I got these at Joann's, I believe. It came in a package of three. I think Park Lane makes them, but uh, you can get them at Home Depot. Um, I'm sure any hobby store will have it, but that's what it looks like. It's flat on the bottom. It has a little hole. And so you're going to start by taping it off so that you could paint around. Now, the wood balls have a grain to it. And so you got to be mindful that you're going to draw a face. So you got to pick the side for the face that is the nicest without any marks. So um, I am going to pick, um, hmm, I think I'll pick this side for the face. So that's gonna be my face. So I am going to mark it off where I want the hair to start. All right, um, let's see, I'm gonna go around like that. That's not working. You're going to need a couple of pieces of tape to get it a straight line. So, because it's a round ball, you really want it to be straight. So, we're going to tape this off. That. Okay, so now that's going to be my face. Actually, you know what? Sorry, guys. I did it backwards. You want it to go the other way. No wonder that didn't work out. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's my face. So I want the hair to start here and go around. Okay, so that will be my hairline. Okay, and take a little bit of black paint. And you're gonna paint the hair on.
Don't worry about the bottom because the bottom's going to be covered. Okay, so you got your hair. And we're going to set that aside and let that dry. Okay, while that's drying, we are going to make the bib. Okay, the bib is a six inch circle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a needle and thread and you're gonna run a stitch around the circle like so. See if you can see what I'm doing. Just run it around. You make a basting stitch. Then we're going to pull it closed, and this will be the bib. Now, I make templates for everything because I use this a lot. So I get my Cricut, and that's how I make my six inch circle, uh, which is really easy to do if you have a, a Cricut or some kind of die cutting machine. Uh, if not, you can use a compass or a protractor. Okay, once you have the stitches all around, you are going to pull it closed. And you're going to make Okay, it's going to look like this when it's finished. Okay, and then you're going to tie it off. Like a knot. Okay, and that is your bib. Now, you want to make a hole in the center of the bib because what you want to do is you want to take a stick or a wire or, I don't know, toothpick, whatever, uh, and you want to put it in the middle of the, the pot. And this is so the head stays on straight. Otherwise, your head will be wobbling with the, with the fabric and it won't stay straight. So what you want to do is you want to glue the stick in place. Okay, make sure that's nice and set in there. Glue it from the bottom. Okay. And then you're going to take the bib and this is the top part. The head is gonna sit on this part because you want it to be a little ruffled. So the flat part is going to be placed on the stick. Put it through the hole that you made with your scissor. Okay, and we're going to glue that to the top of the pot. Okay, just like that. Okay, meantime, you're going to make all of your embellishments. You need two little bows, one for the head and one for the um, collar. You need a piece of white ribbon that I tied into a bow and that will be the wings in the back. And then the sign I made with the Cricut. Again, these signs come from Dollar Tree. You get a whole bag of them for a dollar. They come like this. And with my Cricut, I made the sign with vinyl. And that will be my embellishment. 
Now we're going to make the antenna. And you're going to take a wire and cut it roughly mm, six inches. And then with the pliers, you're going to bend it in half. And you want the bottom to be a little bit straight because it has to sit on the head and you want to glue it onto the head. So it's going to look like that. You're going to take your pliers starting at the top and you're going to just roll it out into a little curly cue. Okay. Same thing with the other side. Take your pliers and roll it out. into a little curly cue, and you have your antenna, okay? Now, let's take the tape off. Okay, and there's your head with your hair. And I am going to paint a little peak. See, I have like little bangs that go around the head. I want to get that look. So you're going to take your brush and you're just going to go around the head like so. Okay, so you have your little bangs there. Okay, very cute. Now on to paint the face. I use these markers. They come in all different size points. It comes in a brush point and a fine point. Fine point is how I make the eyes. So I just find where I want the eyes to be and I just draw two ovals. like that. And then I'll make eyebrows on the top. Okay. And then with the brush point, I'm going to color it in. Sorry, I can't do this face in the camera. I can't do it upside down, but you'll get the gist of it. And there you have the eyes, okay? Then you're just going to, with the fine point again, you're gonna draw little eyelashes. They'll come up from the bottom. Like that. Okay? Now, for the smile, this is how I get it right. You want to take a template and put it on the face. And that's how you draw your smile. Okay. Then 
you're going to take a little blush. We're going to rosy up the cheeks. Okay, can you see? And then, to make it all pop, I use this. It's called Accent Liner. That's white. And to get a perfect dot, I take a stylus and I dip it in the white and you make your dots on the eyes. Like that. Then you want to put a few dots on the cheeks. And that's how you have your face. Okay. Now, for this one, I made eyeglasses, but my second one, I don't want both of them to be wearing eyeglasses. So I'm not going to put the eyeglasses on. But now we're going to attach the antenna. I'm going to glue it right to the top of the head. And hold it there until it sets. Then you're going to take your little balls that you made. These should be hard by now. And we're going to attach them to the top of the head. Okay, this is how he looks so far. Oh, 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 oh. My antenna came off. Sorry about that. I didn't leave it on enough. Got to really hold that so it sets. Okay, so, so far... This is what we have. Okay. Now we're going to glue it onto the body. So I'm going to take a little glue. And glue it right on to the body. Like that. Now, I put a little dab of glue here so that you can see the face better. So just put a little glue and hold that down. Okay. Then with your little bows that you made, I'm going to put one on the top of the head and one at the collar.
Okay. So far, so good. Then you're going to take your white bow and we're going to attach it to the back and that will be the wings. Okay, just like this. Attach it to the back. Okay, and then for the final, we're going to attach, you don't have to, but I like that. I think that looks cute. Since he's got it this way, I'm going to put it going the other way. And that's it. And you have your bee. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you can subscribe to my channel. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, give me a shout out. I'd be happy to answer anything um, that you have. Okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.